NASA's Europa Clipper will start its journey to Jupiter's icy moon aboard the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. NASA will pay SpaceX $178 million to launch the vehicle in October of 2024. The Europa Clipper got the green light from NASA in 2015. It will fly by the moon 45 times, providing research with tantalizing look at the icy world, believed to have an ocean looking under its icy crust. The Clipper is equipped with instruments that will help the scientists figure out if the moon could support life. For years, the Clipper was legally obligated to launch NASA's long-delayed space launch system or the SLS rocket. But with SLS prematurely delayed and over budget, NASA has urged the Congress to consider allowing Europa Clipper to fly commercially. Switching to another vehicle could save up to $1 billion for NASA, the NASA Inspector General said in 2019. NASA got the permission to consider commercial alternatives to SLS rocket in the 2021 budget and started officially looking for a commercial alternative soon after. The SLS has powerful allies in the Congress of US, who have kept the costly program alive for years, even as it blew past budgets and deadlines. The first flight of the SLS was originally supposed to happen in 2017. That mission, launching an uncrewed trip around the moon, has since been pushed to November 2021, and keeping to that the crew schedule remains highly unlikely, according to the NASA's Office of Inspector General, a watchdog agency. SpaceX first launched its Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018 and started flying satellites in 2019. Earlier this year, NASA selected the rocket as the ride to space for the two parts of the planned space station orbiting the moon. Now SpaceX is building its Super Heavy rocket and the Starship spaceship. By 2024, SpaceX Starship could be flying payloads and humans to the Mars. If this happens, NASA mission will go with Starship, not with Falcon Heavy. So what do you think? Will NASA's Europa Clipper aircraft go with SpaceX Falcon Heavy or the Starship?